What's going on guys and gals? I'm your host Mike Pugh of the FPC Virtual Channel and you're tuning in to a really dope video covering what is known as the Manuel Bastioni Lab 1.7.1 version and it's available now for Blender 2.80 beta. Now, Manuel Bastioni, he was really, really an awesome developer. And when I say that was in terms of past tense, he no longer is supporting this actual add-on for Blender. So let me show y'all folks real quick what it does before I actually go too far into it. So I'm just gonna go create character. I'm gonna choose a female character, Caucasian female, and then I'll go with use EV materials. I can also use cycles, but I wanna see what it does with EV. So before I do that, I'm going to check to make sure my EV set up and I'll take off the bloom effect and whatever else I have that I want to show in my EV, um, more of a render setup. If you're new to Blender, just try to enjoy the ride and hopefully you'll get to see and learn everything that is possible to do in this actual video. So here we go. We're going to create character. I have a very short limited time. I only have five minutes because I have to work. I actually just started a new pizza delivery job. So keep in mind, um, I may not be able to move too fast with it and or stay too long. So uh, right now it's down here in the bottom and I don't know if it's selected. So let's just try to scale and it's not selected. So it doesn't come out selected. So you're going to have to hit the A key to select all and then go into your uh, collections slash outliner and shift left click to deselect the things that you don't want to scale up and then you go to try to scale the whole thing up so now we're gonna go scale up hit the S key and let's try to scale it just so we can get a better view on it and there we go I'm just gonna left click a single time and then I'm gonna use the move tool to move it up so I used manual Bastioni lab a while back in version 2.79 B for Blender. I also used it in a previous version, uh, Blender 2. Point, what was it? 7.2, I believe. So I was playing around, just testing, just to see what I could do with it. And now, as you can see, it is definitely available for Blender 2.8 beta. And so this is going to be interesting. I want to see what it's going to be able to project for me in terms of the quality of what she looks like. I'm not going to get too into fine tuned details. I just wanted y'all folks to see that this is available. So what we're going to do, we're going to deactivate some of this stuff. So we're going to get rid of the lines. Let's try to get rid of those lines. So we'll take out the text. We'll take out the annotations. We'll take out the extras and we'll also take out the origins and Let's take out the bones too. So let's uh, go for the bones, take out the bones. And I don't know what this dot, this yellow dot is. So let's take out the gizmo. All right, that's the gizmo. So that's all we got so far. We got her and we're gonna scale her down a little bit more. Oh, wow. I don't know what happened there. I'm just gonna right click cause that didn't work. I'll leave her at the scale. So that way I'll just work with that. Now, as you can see, I have a camera here. I always have my camera defaulted and set up. So the camera is actually not in a bad position for rendering. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna check to see how she looks. So let's move this. To do that, we're gonna hit the N key to make it go to the background. But keep in mind, this is the area for your manual Bastioni lab. If y'all folks wanna get the actual download for it, look in the video's description area and you'll get to it. And I want to credit someone for actually helping me to find out that this was available. So let's go over to my Make Human 1.2.0 Alpha 1 video. This is a video that I put out recently uh, right here. Uh, Make Human 1.2.0 Alpha 1. It's a video that details about the MHX2 with shape keys for Blender uh, 2.80 beta. So I put that video out and then somebody showed up the actual profile name is Eternity, so A-T-O-R-N-I-T-Y. Show him some love or her some love. I don't know if it's a female or a male, 
but they put out this information right here and they gave me the link to the github location which i'm going to give y'all folks this github location and i much appreciate the fact that this person went into commenting and dropping that link for me and i was very very happy to find out that information so i dropped the cool comment for that person this is one of the best comments that i ever received and let me tell you what the comment says from eternity eternity sorry uh, manual bastioni lab is very much available for blender 2.8 and put the link there and then its menu is on the right side now though which caused me some confusion yes so that's one of the things that may confuse people uh the tabs that come in are no longer located in the toolbar area over here to the left it's now on the right side with your view we'll get rid of the overlays or the background i should say of the grid lines and stuff and what we're going to do is go over here to render and we're going to see how she looks now look at that EV quality. That is pretty powerful. And like I said, I gotta go. And that, on this note, I'll most definitely make some more coverage on the Manual Bastioni Lab through Blender 2.80 Beta. And I'll see y'all folks next time. Feel free to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and to share this socially if you feel it's gonna help other people get this add-on. And also to be able to create really high quality photorealistic humans. It's really dope to do in 3D and to play around with it and Hey, you never know what you're going to be able to create. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, and feel free to smash that bell icon if y'all folks want to support my channel. But also if you want to get my latest videos. I'll see you next time. Peace. Folks, I got some really good news. As you can see, she has clothes on and I figured out how to get the clothing on. So I'll try to show y'all folks that in the very next video. Let's try to switch it real quick to the other renderer, which is Cycles. So you can see that I did set it up for Cycles. So you can see how it would look real quick. And in that very next video, that's what you'll see in regards to this Manuel Bastioni Lab add-on. It's pretty dope. I'm also gonna show you the source of the person who actually came up with this over here on the GitHub location animate 1978 was the person who actually got this manual Bastioni lab updated upgraded and back onto blender 2.8 so all the credit goes to that person for sure I just wanted to throw that out there before I end the video and I'll see you in the very next video peace oh and I forgot uh, the website is blenderartist.org if you want to locate that particular person let me see if I can go to their actual um, profile over there. So this is their GitHub, github.com uh, animate 1978-mb-lab, I guess. Looks like that's what they got on GitHub. Um, let me see if I can get to it. Yeah, this is the GitHub location here. So other than that, that's all that I can figure out so far. You try to click on their icon, it brings this up here for the GitHub link. And that's about it. Catch you next time, like I said. And I'll put all the information about everything that I found from his location here. And hopefully that'll help you as well. Peace.